In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the inverse trig table that we just came up with to help us evaluate some inverse trig functions. So we're asked to evaluate each of these expressions in both radians and degrees. So if I'm asked to find the inverse sine of negative 1 or the arc sine of negative 1, what that means is what is the angle that has a value for sine of negative 1? Now using my table, what I do is I'm going to go back to my table and I'm going to look for when is the sine of theta equal to negative 1. So I go all the way across this first row and there's nothing there. Okay? Go down to the second one, let's see sine of theta equals negative 1. Oh, here it is. Sine of theta equals negative 1 when theta is 270 degrees or 3 halves of pi. So that's me. You know, inverse trig functions, we work backwards. So this is going to be 270 degrees or 3 halves of pi. Arc cosine of negative square root of 2 over 2. Well, where am I going to find that one? I recognize square root of 2 over 2 as being the value of cosine for 45 degrees. You know, using my hand trick, that's right in the middle. So, but it's negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out those, let's see, not 45, no cosine. Here we go. So 135 has got a negative square root of 2 over 2 value for cosine. So that's good. Remember that one. But there might be another one. Oh, yeah, cosine is also negative in the third quadrant. So 225 is also going to work. It becomes positive again in the fourth quadrant, so not that answer. So we've got two different angles that work here. So cosine, arc cosine is negative square root of 2 over 2, 135 or 225 degrees. In radians, that would be 3 fourths of pi or 5 fourths of pi. Last one, arc tangent to the square root of 3 over 3. Uh, I seem to remember that matching up with maybe 30 degrees or 60 degrees. Oh, look. Tangent of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 3. So there's one of them. But remember, there's another one. Because tangent is going to be positive in another quadrant. All seniors, two cool. T is in the third quadrant. So I'm going to check the third quadrant one as well. Sure enough, tangent is positive square root of 3 over 3 here. So I've got 30 degrees and 210 degrees are the two angles that I should write down for my answer. 30 degrees or 210 degrees. Uh, in radians, that's 1 sixth of pi or. 7 sixths of pi. So that's using our neat little trig table to help us evaluate inverse trig functions without a calculator.